a sharp incline in tax revenues in last decade. A surge in the revenue from the direct and indirect taxes have been contributing to the economic development in the past years. Despite adversities post-pandemic, India is gaining groundbreaking milestones. A remarkable inclination has been observed among the taxpayers despite the rise in the tax-paying slab. A study shows an increase in revenues from tax in comparison with the last 10 assessment years. It has been witnessed that revenues have increased almost 303% in the past 12 years, a big leap from Rs 6.2 lakh crores in the financial year 2010 to Rs 25.2 lakh crore in the financial year 2022 has been recorded. The GDP growth has been observed at 93% from Rs 76.5 lakh crore to the big jump to Rs 147.4 lakh crore. The GST, Goods and Service Tax, has been a major contributor to the increase in revenue, followed by the Corporation Tax. Along with this, Income Tax and Corporate Tax are other major contributors to the increase in the total tax revenue. According to a report from a renowned research agency, tax collection in the financial year 2023 is anticipated to rise by 8%. Under the Modi-led government, the implementation of the GST, Goods and Service Tax, has revolutionized the entire taxation system and has fueled the growth of the economy. Direct tax collection in the year 2021-22 is about 14.10 lakh crore, whereas indirect tax collected is 12.90 lakh crore. The figure is elaboratively illustrated in the Press Information Bureau. The link is given below for a better understanding. The post-pandemic economy has a whopping growth rate regardless of the increase in the tax-paying slab. What is a tax slab? It is a tax-paying system based on an individual's income range. As the income grows, the tax slab also increases. But in a 135 crore nation, only 8 crore paying income tax. India has been supporting new businesses ever since the government introduced Startup India and Skill India policies. They have been a major driver for the growth of India's economy. Therefore, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman announced tax benefits for the startups early this year. The valuation of supply of online gaming and supply of actionable claim claims in casinos. I'll read that again. As regards valuation of supply of online gaming and supply of actionable claims in casinos. Furthermore, she again extended the time until the end of the financial year 2022-23 and announced a 100% tax rebate on profit for a period of three years in a 10-year time frame, provided that the total turnover is more than 25 crores in one financial year. Kindly share your feedback on the content in the comment section. To receive more such updates, follow Air News and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.